Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Number 5. Seaman Robbery In Port Elizabeth, South Africa, a 33-year-old man was kidnapped by three unidentified women, and instead of the usual demands for money, the women urged a man for a seaman. After being held at gunpoint in broad daylight, the 33-year-old victim was forced into the back of a BMW, where he was raped by the women. After the man refused to have sex with the women, they forced him to drink an unknown substance in order to get him aroused, before sexually abusing him. The man's semen was then deposited in a plastic bag, and subsequently stored in a cooling box. Following this, the victim was ejected out of the car and left traumatised, while the three women sped off with his stolen semen. Number 4. Semen Laced Yogurt A 60-year-old man from Pennsylvania by the name of Joseph Bartarillo was charged and sentenced to two years in prison after tainting his co-workers' yogurts with his own semen. The victims were two female workers at Proctor and Gamble Paper Factory in Wyoming County, and they began to suspect something was wrong after they noticed small pin marks in the foil lids of their yogurts, which was no coincidence as it had happened at least 13 times. Not only that, but the yogurts had a foul odour coming out, and a very bad taste. Bartarillo was eventually caught after a hidden camera was set up, and it was discovered that he was routinely injecting his own semen in his co-workers' yogurts. Number 3. Semen Laced Coffee A 34-year-old Minnesota man, John Robert Lind, pleaded guilty after ejaculating into his co-workers' coffee over a six-month period. The reason for this sick act, you may ask? was in order to get noticed by his female colleague. John Robert Lynn's female colleague, Pat Ma, initially believed that her coffee smelled and tasted bad because the milk may have gone off. However, little did she know that there was much more to that. On one afternoon, Ma caught Lind with both of his hands near his genitals, masturbating over her desk. She described him looking like a deer in headlights when he noticed her, and quickly left the room. As there was no sexual contact, Lind was therefore charged with indecent exposure and lewd behaviour. Number 2. Semen Injections Open wide for me and say, ah! Former dentist John Hall convinced his patients that he had a particular remedy to help stop bleeding, which involved injecting some mystery fluids into their mouths and telling them to swallow. That fluid, of course, was his own semen. One of his patients even accused him, saying, that smells of sperm, to which the dentist reportedly replied, yeah, you're crazy. It is believed that John Hall injected his own sperm into the mouths of six of his patients before eventually being caught, and his license to practice dentistry, shockingly enough, was permanently revoked. Hall even attempted to open a new dentistry practice in Belize. However, it was shut down after his past actions were exposed. Number 1. Semen Laced Cookies a former Los Angeles elementary school teacher, Mark Berndt, enjoyed playing tasting games with his students, which involved blindfolding them and feeding them cookies laced with his own semen. If that wasn't bad enough, Berndt also spoon-fed his own semen to the children and allowed live cockroaches to crawl over their faces whilst he took photos. It was even reported that the former school teacher masturbated in front of his students as far back as the early 90s. When investigators were eventually called, they found traces of Bernd's semen in his classroom, as well as hundreds of photos of the blindfolded children. After spending more than three decades teaching, the former school teacher was unsurprisingly fired and is currently serving a 25-year prison sentence. Let's just say, when he drops the soap in the shower, he might just get a tasting game himself. <laughs> 